Yo, what up guys? Uh, welcome to my channel. Today I have a free tool for you guys. Uh, it's called Splash Screen Maker. And this tool is actually uh, a way of um, managing the splash screen of 3ds max uh, you know that like, like the loading image that you get when you launch 3ds max well a week ago i didn't know that but you can actually change this image to whatever you want and uh, my tool is doing this for you like automatically uh, really like quick and you can also create a shortcut with a specific icon uh, and even more so um if you want to get it you can uh, download it uh, following the link in the description of this video um, so it's free you can use it do whatever you want with it um, i made this tool in 3ds max 2025 uh, and i haven't tested uh, my tool in any other version of max so if you're using any uh, different version please uh, try it and let me know if it's working and if it's not i'd like to know as well uh what what are the the issue that you guys get all right so um you can see right now this is the ui of my tool uh when you get the the file it's actually going to look uh like uh, this file here on your computer so what you want to do is just you click on uh, this script and you drag it into your 3ds max viewport and it's going to launch the tool um, so what can you do with the tool is uh, you can create uh, the splash screen image you can create a specific shortcut with a specific icon you can stamp uh, an image onto another one uh, of your splash screen image and you can also resize image you can um, you can save your image and then you can uh, add multiple image uh, in the tool to to uh, actually uh, randomize your splash screen if you want to have multiple so like every time you launch 3ds max you have a different image opening up all right so like the best way to show you is actually do some so um first thing you want to do is you pick a splash screen image so like the only format that is supported is jpeg and png um so uh you you can pick whatever image that you want if you want your splash screen to have a uh, transparency you can uh, using a png file um, but you cannot use my stamp a tool uh, to add something on top of your image is going to break the alpha channel so don't do that but if you uh, want to make one in Photoshop like and just save it as a regular JPEG uh, not JPEG sorry but PNG uh, you can use one uh, just this way all right so I'm gonna pick my first image like this so you can see I now have my image open and here uh, splash screen size you can actually uh, lower or uh, put it, your scale higher if you want um, to just set the, the, the size of your splash screen image so I'm just gonna put something like this and as you can see like this um, this image is not the same dimension as the default uh, loading screen of 3ds max uh, and it can be anything so it doesn't have to be the same exact dimension so i'm gonna use this one just to show you um all right so next up you have shortcut icon and shortcut name so this is going to be the name of your shortcut by default it's like 2025 2ds max 2025 if you have uh, uh 24 uh, 23 whatever is going to appear here but just to show you i'm gonna type the 3ds max tutorial and i'm gonna pick an icon so uh, for the icon it's pretty much the same uh, you can add the jpeg or png but for the icon the png uh, transparency is not going to work if you use my tool um, but if you want to have a transparent icon for whatever reason uh, you have a shape cool shaped icon well if you do one in photoshop for example and you you save it in I, ico format uh, it's going to be um, working if you load it here um, but if you use jpeg or png well you you cannot have any transparency uh, sadly so anyways i'm gonna pick my image here 
just like that so you can see it as properly loaded here um, and so that's it for the shortcut and the icon uh, next up you have the stamp so if you want you can add some stuff on top of your image you don't have to of course but yeah it's there so if i i don't know i'm gonna add this one here uh i'm gonna move it i don't know let's see all right okay so let's say this is my first splash screen so once you're done uh you can create splash screen this is going to do everything in the background for you and now if i go to my uh desktop it's gonna move it here because i have a white screen <laughs> so you can see now i do have my uh, new shortcut image uh here and i have gds max tutorial icon here right um so this is my new shortcut here and if i launch this you can now see i have uh, my gds max opening so if i move this back you can see now i have my splash screen image uh with my gds max loading right all right so it's working and this is what we want and so if i come back to my um tool here um what i can do now is uh, i can save this image somewhere on my computer so i'm gonna save it here uh it's gonna to ask me a name so i'm gonna be naming this uh splash screen one and then enter your image have been saved let's see if it has been saved properly so going here here so you can see now i have my image here so this is great so now we're gonna we're gonna uh, pick another image uh whatever this one i'm gonna lower the scales again to something like this i'm gonna put a stem because i like putting a stem and I'm gonna move it to, I don't know. Okay, it doesn't have to be. Anyways, you get it. I'm putting this like that. Uh, whatever, I'm gonna save this image as well. So same folder. Um, I'm gonna call this one screen whatever splash screen two. All right, and does my image save? My image is saved. Good. I'm gonna open up another image just for fun. So a third one. I lower this and this one. I'm just gonna save it like that with no stamp um and by the way like i know like the stamp is not the, the best thing in the world but like if you do like you don't need to do a stamp you can just make your own in photoshop right um so anyways uh splash screen tree and do we have our third tree image yeah and the reason why i'm like re resizing them is because i want them to be looking exactly like this when i'm gonna launch 3ds max uh because i know like the these image here are really big and if i don't uh, rescale them or change anything on them it's gonna be super huge when i'm gonna launch 3ds max and i don't want that so all right so anyways um just before I go to the randomized splash screen, I just want to explain those two check your box here. Um, by default, they are uh, checked and you don't really need to turn them off. But um, just to explain, like the refresh one is actually for the shortcut icon. So every time you're going to click on shortcut icon, it's going to um, refresh your um, icon cache of uh, your uh, windows. 
meaning that it's going to refresh your cache but it also uh, it's also going to restart your windows explorer so like if you have any like uh, window open on your window windows sorry like a window like this i'm talking about like it's going to be uh, closed if you have this checked so if you have multiple I don't know you're working on a project and you have multiple stuff and you don't want this to happen well don't click on this uh, well uncheck this but the thing is like if you um, create a shortcut icon and you want it to be uh, showing in your windows um, if this is not checked you might need to restart your computer to be able to see your icon on your shortcut so uh, just keep that in mind and this here is just override well it does pretty much what it says like if you for example if i'm i'm like oh uh, i don't like this image i'm gonna change it to another image well if you don't have over override check uh, it might not uh, reload properly into your uh, shortcut icon so anyways just keep that in mind by default like leave it if you leave it uh, both check you, you should not run into any issue all right so uh now the fun part so like if you go here uh, randomize splash screen it does pretty much what it says uh you can add here a uh, splash screen so we're gonna add the one that we just created so uh this one and this one and this one so now i have three image and i i can now click on randomize splash screen if you don't have any like if you do reset it's gonna remove everything um but if you try it's gonna tell you to add more so add your splash screen first and as soon as you check this well every time um you launch 3ds max uh one of the three image here is gonna be loading so and that's pretty much it guys i think uh, i cover everything in my tool and and yeah so let's give it a try so i'm gonna uh, close this i'm gonna close 3ds max as well uh no don't need all right so um i have my icon here so i'm gonna go ahead and launch it and i'm going to wait for max to be fully open before i i launch the other one because if you load if you launch multiple instance at the same time the the loading screen might be the same uh it has to open fully open up i think before uh well we can try it actually um now i cannot click on my icon <laughs> <laughs> rip uh, just gonna close this one as well now god damn it's taking so long all right so i'm just gonna move it on the side like here okay so i'm launching 3ds max again oh I have another splash screen yes sir okay and let's try it like if i try to open another one right away uh yeah it's not working you can see like down below uh it's the same splash screen so like i said like if it's not fully open it it won't change but you can see anyways uh, right now that it it's uh uh, it's uh, circling through the the splash screen that I added in the the randomized list. All right, guys. So everything is working. So uh, yeah, if you like my video, if you like my tool, please, guys, uh, leave it, uh, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and uh, don't forget to let me know if it's working. If you have any like other version of 3ds Max. Uh, I'd be glad to hear uh, if you guys uh, I are able to make it work or if you run into any issue. All right, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.